Hi, it's Dale again. <clears throat> Today we're going to work on a car part instead of a motorcycle part. Uh, some of you Ford people probably recognize this. It's a shifter plate for a for a Torino. I think they fit, it fits the others, but this is, is actually off a of 68 Torino. <clears throat> and what happens to a lot of these is that these little spring clips here on the end that hook into the uh, console are broke, just like this one. They've, they've come unriveted, they're gone. So what we're going to do today is make some. And the way we do this is uh, they're a little, these, these will be a little thinner than normal, but uh, they'll get the job done. And I use a piece of uh, uh, 40,000 spring steel. And this is actually, uh, it's C1095, which is too, whole, too hard for me to drill or to shape. So I'm going to cut the two pieces off that we're going to use off of this uh, piece of uh, spring steel. And then I'm going to heat it in the oven to anneal it so I can shape it, drill it, and then after we're done, uh, getting it how we want it, then we're going to reharden it back into a piece of spring steel so that it'll hook under there and hold everything the way it's supposed to. So let me get this cut off. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna run this up to uh, about 1,450 degrees to start our annealing process. board there. Alright. And let's see here. And I'm gonna say we're gonna run it for about forty five minutes maybe. These parts are pretty thin, so it shouldn't take too long. And yes, we're going to run. <clears throat> this is the temperature inside the oven. I've had it running already before, so. It start, should start ramping up here now. <clears throat> There she goes. It'll probably take less than five minutes probably to get up there. Get these uh, rivets drilled out.
countersink these a little bit on the on the driver's side. I mean on the driver's side of the item. Alright, now we're up to our target temperature. Alright, I've got a, I'm kind of behind the power curve here. I forgot to turn my microphone on. <clears throat> so, I've already got these drilled. Uh, the reason we had to uh, uh, anneal them was so that we could drill them and form them because they, they were measured at about 55 Rockwall before uh, I put them in the oven. Now, I've got a tester here that, I mean, it's pretty easy. You can just run a, take a file, and you can run it along there, and, and it, it gets right into it. Of course, I've already drilled it, so it's, you can tell that it's soft enough to do that. But I use a tester that uh, you just take a calibrated punch, and push it down, and it puts you a little dimple in there. This is made by PTC, and you can put it over the uh, the dimple you just made, and you, of course, you won't be able to see this, but uh, you line up everything in there. You've got lines that you uh, uh, line up and then measure it, and this is this is really close to between 25 and 30. Rock will now, so it's certainly malleable enough to to work. So after we get it, get it drilled and formed, then uh, we'll put it back in the heat treating oven and heat treat it uh, to put the spring back into it, and then we'll have to temper it back so that it will be a spring. So stay tuned for that. All right, I think we've got the first one just about the way it needs to be. Looks like how it'll work right there. And we've got to, got to make this new one just about the same. So uh, 
Let's see what we can do here. would never be able to do this with the uh, material the way it comes. You've got to be able to anneal it to work it. Okay, it's pretty close. Alright, there's just a little bit of a bend back here where it rolls over the Cover. All right. Okay, we've got the uh, uh, the new clips molded to the way they should be, and uh, I've got them fastened on here temporarily with uh, screws, just so we can check to see how they're going to work. This is uh, this is our new setup. Now let's see how they work. This is a really wore out console. They'll go down in here like this. right under there and we can see here from underneath how they work and how they fit in there and just pull it out so I think we're good in uh, our form and function there so now it's on to uh, getting them reheat treated and uh, then we'll rivet them on and then finish up the front, redetail it. Now it's back to the oven. She goes back up. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna wrap these up in some uh, stainless steel tool wrap. So, to try to keep the uh, scaling down on them. <coughs> The idea is to keep as much of the oxygen away as you can and still get the, the components heated. Oops. And no, 
big pro at this, but they tell me to put a little piece of paper in with the items. And I guess the idea is that as it gets hot enough, it'll start the paper on fire and burn out the uh, remaining oxygen that's in here. So we'll see. See if it works. I'm just going to kind of squeeze all this together to make a as tight as I can get it. And we'll see. The uh, oven is up to 1400 degrees, so it's just about ready to accept the parts. We're going to go ahead and stick them in there now. Ooh, nice and red. And we got about a 30 minute wait. All right, we're going to pull it out. Looks like it did pretty good. Well, now we're going to clean these up and we'll have to temper them back. So I have to wait on the, the oven to cool back down for a ways. We're going to temper them back at about 400 degrees for about an hour. Okay, we're getting back on this uh, console plate, shift plate for the Torino. I've uh, I've gotten the uh, uh, the keepers, the springs already made, and I've got one. Uh, I had one that was a little bigger hole than the other one, so I went a different size rivet. Um, so this one is in there. I'll probably uh, finish it up a little bit, but uh, we'll get the other rivet in there now and then go to the other side. I've already got these holes pretty well dressed. There's the fit on the, on the little rivet next to it. So we'll get that peened in. I'm just using a chunk of metal here that I have available, anything for an anvil. And uh, these are aircraft rivets, so all you do is just peen them on the back side. And there's there's that one side all done. We'll have to put a little body putty in there and uh, detail it out. And let's see about getting this other one in. 
to make sure I put it on the right way here. Started and then I'll put the other one in too in case I need to drill it or something. I can just open it up a little bit. come in and There's our two new springs and the rivets installed on the, I'll just work that down a little bit more with sandpaper and then uh, put just a little bit of putty on it and then we'll detail it out with some black paint. Should look just like a new one. And I just mixed up a little, little icing spot putty. Spot putty is dry. All that really is left to do is just to, to sand it really good. Nothing hard about it, just takes a little time. So it looks like that. Next thing to do is give a little shot of paint. It's going to take a little time to taper everything off.
And here's the finished product. There's our new clips. And then uh, how we finished it up up there where the rivets went in. Not too bad a job. Better than it was. Thanks for joining me.